Yo. Yeah, today we'll be working on Express.com Express.com in the sense that, like, look at this one that is here You'll notice that this that came from here straight to the shoulder level, like straight to the neck Do you understand? So that's what we are going to be doing today Okay, so let me keep this one aside Okay, first thing we do is, is before we start You need these required materials First, let's start with, you need like two yards of fabric, your measuring tape, your scissors, tailor's chalk, and your French curve, that is if necessary. Also, let's go to required measurements. Before we start cutting, we need this measurement, highly, highly necessary. We need the bust point, that is from shoulder to the nipple point. We need the round bust, that is... 34 inches. We need the under bust point that is 12 inches, that is from shoulder to under bust. We need the round under bust that is exactly round under bust. Then we also need the what? Half length, half length that is from shoulder to wherever your waist length is. Okay. So now we are done with the required measurements. First thing to do is to fold your fabric. Like I said, first thing to do is to do what? Fold your fabric. Okay, now some of us will be asking, how are we going to fold our fabric? Okay, we are going to be, please, I want you to understand something. Like, let me go back to this dress. Please, let me go back to this dress. Now, by me looking at this dress, you'll notice that this dress has three sections in front. That is the section A, section B, which is the center front, and the section C. Are you seeing it? Now, look at the back too. Also, look at the back. It's also, it, it also has three sections. Look at it. One, two, three. Are you seeing it? The difference at this back now to the front part is just that this place there is sit there by dividing this center back. Are you looking at it? So, since the front has three sections, please, I want you to understand this. In cutting, there is, in cutting is not hard. Cutting a fabric, as in cutting for a particular style, is not hard. All you need to do is do what? Cut the front, then use the front to what? Duplicate for the back. Okay, that's what we are going to do now. Now we are going to cut the front, but cutting the front, we are going to cut the center front first. Then after cutting the center front, then we use it to cut the what? Two sides. That is the what? Side A and C. Like I said, this is A, B, C. So we are going to cut B first, then use B to duplicate A and C. Then at the end of the day, we now use the total front A, B, C to duplicate the word back. But duplicating the bag, we know that this one has a cup. So for us to use it and duplicate the bag, that means we are going to silence the cup at the back. Do you understand? Okay, thank you. So we are now folding for the center part. Shape, center part. Okay, to fold for the center part is we are going to work with our nipple to nipple. What I call what? Nipple to nipple. Nipple to nipple is the distance between the um, right nipple to the left nipple or vice versa from the left nipple to the right nipple so the distance we are going the distance depends on the what the circumference of the bust now for bust of 34 it should be what seven inches now we are going to use seven we are going to fold seven inches thereby folding seven inches will give us what three and a half what do I say folding seven inches will give us what three and a half Okay, like I said, we are going to what, fold what, 7 inches, 7 divided by 2, because we are folding into 2, it should be what, 3 and a half. And on that 3 and a half, we add half inch allowance. That half inch allowance is called what, seam allowance, half inch allowance. Okay, so let's mark it out now. Three and a half inches allowance shape must have that is what four inches. Okay, let's mark out the four inches. Four inches. We are still on the stage of folding the material. Okay. Now let's fold. Okay, now we folded the material. Remember, folding material is your first step. Now the second step is what? After folding your material is what? Mark out your measurement points. Now the measurement points are what? 
the shoulder level, which is this point, the bust point, which is 9 inches, and the what? Under bust point. Also, the half length. Now, let's do that. 9 inches. Are you seeing it? That is the word bust point. Okay? 12 inches. Are you seeing it? That is the word under bust point. And the 15 inches. That is the word half length. Okay. So now let's use our rule and mark. Okay. After that, please. Remember, as like I said, first step is what? Folding your material. Then second step is what? Marking out the measurement points. Okay. So after marking out the measurement points, next thing we do is to what? Form the dart. It is this dart that gives it the shape of a cup. Do you understand what I mean? It is the dart that gives it the shape of a cup. Okay. Now, in order to form that, please, we should know, remember something. Uh, we should know this now. That to form a dart, that usually appears at the upper level and at the what? Lower level. We have what we call the upper dart and the what lower dart. Now, the upper dart is usually situated around this point. Now, to give the upper dart here, what we are going to do is from here, please, from here, measure out what? One inch or one and a half. Please, depending on the person's measurement. Do you understand? Okay, in this case, I'm going to use what? One and a half. Okay. Like I've marked it, I've marked one and a half. Now, the lower that is usually situated at the what? Under bust line. Now, at the under bust line, please, remember I used one and a half here. Please, at the under bust, use the same one and a half. Okay. Also, at the um, half length, whatever you use at the under bust, use the same thing at the half length. One and a half. Now, we have this point. We have this point, 1, point 2, point 3. Now, what we are going to do is now, uh, is, uh, what we are going to do now is to do what? Connect. Now, in order to connect, take this one, take your room, connect this one to the word boss point. That is what? Nipple point. Now, after connecting it, you are going to connect this one to the word under bust. Now, to connect it, you know, remember we use the rule to do this one. This one, you will not have to use a word straight rule. You should use your word French cup, or you can also work with free hand. Okay, let me use free hand for all of us to see it. With a cup, please connect it to this point. Okay, now after connecting it to this point, next thing you need to do is to work. pull it down exactly to the word half length. Okay, now we are done with the center part B. This is the word center part B. Okay, next thing we need to do is what cut it out. Now look at it. When you expand it, you notice that it is exactly to what you are seeing here. Look at it. This is exactly to what you are seeing here. Are you looking at? Are you seeing it now? Okay. Now we are done with the center part. Next thing we need to do is what? Use this center part to cut off what the uh, two sides. Do you understand? We are going to use this center part to cut off the what two sides. Okay. Okay, remember we have finished cutting out the part B, that is the center front. Now we are going to cut out the wall, the two center side. No, we are going to cut out the wall, the two sides in front. Okay, now in order to do that, remember what I said? First of all, you have to fold another fabric. Do you understand? So in order to fold another fabric, please, with the method I am using, please, understand this. There are many methods which you can use to cut this. But with this particular method I'm using now, now you have to fold your fabric. Now, folding your fabric, you also have to consider a measurement. Now, you will now have to consider what you are going to fold using the word highest circumference. Now, look at this now. The highest circumference here now is what? That is what round bust. So, we are now going to consider the round bust. Round bust divided by 4, which we normally divide with, is what? 8 and a half. So, 8 and a half, that is what you mark out. Are you seeing it? Now mark it out, mark it out, 
After marking out eight and a half, use your rule to join it. Now, you are not going to fold. Why are we folding? Why don't we just start working on this particular very part? Yes, the reason why we are folding is because we need two sides. So we need to fold into two. Do you understand? Okay, now let's fold. Okay. Okay. Now we are done folding. Next thing you need to do, please, next thing you need to do, which is very, very important, is to do what? Take this center to get the what? Two sides. In order to do that, please, take this particular center you are seeing, place it exactly as I placed like this. Are you seeing it? Please, place it like this. Making sure that this very folded part is facing the world. Allowance, please, note. Fold it in a way that this very part is what? Facing the world. Allowance. Please, this is very, very important. Okay, this is my pin. So I'm not going to use this pin. I'm not going to use this pin to hold it. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now I'm done with that. So next thing we need to do is what? You see these marks that we did here? Please, we also have to do what? Bring it in front. Okay. Okay. We now have to do what? Extend the marks. Okay. We are almost done. So next thing we have to do now, simple as that, is to do what? Impute our body measurement. Like, we need to impute the body measurement. In order to do that, see it here. Now, remember, our round waist, no, our round um, bust, which is what? 34 inches. The round bust is what? 34 inches. Are you seeing it? So we divide it by 4. 34 divided by 4 is going to give us what? 8 and 8, half. Remember, that is what we folded. So assuming you folded essays, all you need to do is do what? Put your tape, mark 8 and half. Do you understand? Okay, now our under bust. Under bust, um, round under bust is what? 30 inches. Now, 30 inches divided by 4 should be what? Should be what? 7 and half. Are you seeing it? So with this particular method you are seeing, if you use this particular method that I've just used, you notice that after you, you finish placing your center front and mark your bust point, add it at uh, the stage of marking the under bus point, you notice that both of the um, two points are at the same point. Okay, remember the bust is um, eight and a half, you measure and the mark. The under bust is what? Seven and a half, you measure and do what? Mark. Okay, now we've gotten our measurements. All we need to do is what? Use uh, our ruler and do what? Extend it. Okay, remember. Also connect here. Okay, looking at it here now, some of us will be like, why is this um, side not having a kind of fitting? Yes, obvious, that's how it's supposed to be. Do you know why? Because, see, this one is seven and a half, and this one is what, eight and a half. Yeah, obviously, it's supposed to be having this kind of shape. Do you understand? We usually know that something that's supposed to be having this kind of shape. But it's not having that kind of shape. Why? Because look at it here. Seven and a half, eight and a half. Now, this eight and a half side, the both side is coming out more. Thereby taking those parts that are supposed to be coming out at this very point. Do you understand? Okay. So I think I'm, I've been able to explain that part very, very well. But if you didn't really understand it, please don't um, miss to send me an uh, um don't miss to inbox me or comment on the section, um, comment section below, please. Okay. Now, next thing we need to do is do what? Trace out. At this very point, in order for you to trace out, but please just trace out exactly what you're seeing. Exactly from the center front you just placed. Okay, now I'm done. Please, after you finish tracing it out, please, before you separate both, don't fail to 
before you separate both, please don't fail to notch at the underboss point. Are you seeing it? Please don't fail to notch at this very underboss point. So after you finish notching, please don't let your notching to be so deep. If not, it's going to affect why you are sewing the clothes. After you finish notching, you can now separate. Now, when you separate, you have to place it like this. Okay, now when you place it like this, this part is the word section A, this is the section B, and this is the word section C. As easy as you are saying it. So in order for you to join, it's very simple. All you need to do what is what join like this. Place this one down like this and join. Join with what? Remember our same allowance was what? Half inch and join. You also do the same thing to this very part. Place it like this and do what? Join at the end of the day to get a perfect form. But please note something, we've not really done the word back part. Remember what I told us? In order for you to do the back part, all you need to do is do what? Take these very words and place on another fabric and cut. The only difference with the front and the back is just that the front has this cup nature. Do you understand? There is cup in front. Why the back doesn't need cup? Because the back doesn't have breasts. So all you need to do what is do what? All you need to do is what? Silence the bust. After you finish sil silencing the bust, on both sides, use it and cut for the word back. So in our next class, I'm going to teach us how to cut the back using the, two, um, using the three major um, sections of the front. That is the word section A and section B, then section C. Thank you very much.